What's up everybody, Alex here, and welcome to this match of Dota Underlord Standard. We're going with our mages. Why wouldn't we start with all these mages? And Crystal Maiden, you've been an absolute carry lately. So we're going to start with these guys. We're going to take Weaver to start as well, because if we can run some early insects, why wouldn't we? So, early mage start, okay. So we doing mages? It's a little early, round one, to just call doing mages, but... We got three. We got three right now, so... Why wouldn't we do mages? Do I force mages right now? Well, let's see what RNG throws our way. I'm interested in doing whatever. Mages are definitely part of my builds of the week. I got six mages we can do. Uh, definitely think that the spirit mages are perhaps the most interesting, but we got three right off the bat here. Are we going to take zero damage? Oh, zero damage loss. That is the absolute best loss imaginable. I will take that all day long. All day long. If we take Kea here. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to put the Kea on the Razor here. 100 damage per tick, 20 per tick. Just thinking. Hey, look at that. That's some. RNG, throw me a high five here. Um, I might actually sell off Weaver here to get that. Yeah. I gotta grab him. I might actually. Do I put him over. No. I think I keep this lineup in. He's obviously the next one in. Certainly the next one in. All right. Come on. Come on, Magi. That's right. Bloodlust, my friend. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. One damage for us. That's not too bad. I like it. I like taking the minimized damage, but also uh, supporting our economy. I am all about that. Supporting the economy is absolutely key. Now, what do we got here? These guys don't even know what they're doing yet. Uh, we got, okay, so two-star Drow Ranger here. Void Stone on a Maiden. That's going to, it looks like he's going to move towards Summoners, perhaps. Everyone's all over the place right now. I'm the only one with a real standard strat. So this guy's definitely going Summoners. Do I pick Quelling Blade? No. Don't pick Quelling Blade. That feels like a horrible idea. Uh, might actually take the level here. Because we got a next up. Yeah. You know what? I think it's best on Razor. The ball lightning's interesting too, but the damage is a little less. You know what? Yeah, we'll keep it on Razor for now. We will keep it on Razor for now. Now, do I actually carry Lycan for the time being? Thinking. I might actually put Lycan in the front instead of Ogre Magi right now, simply because the Lycan will give us a chance to, uh, to get human bonus active. I don't have enough money for Lycan. Do I sell off? Do I just... No. Do I go six mages here? If I go six mages, I need the Ogre Magi. If I go six mages, I need an Ogre Magi, so that's what I'm doing. I'm sticking with them. I'm sticking with them. Now, the thing is, is that I need to consider rolling... A, come on. Game. I need to consider rolling a bit here. Maybe not yet. The, the double draw ranger really uh, hurts our blacklist opportunity there because we're only going to blacklist four units. Hmm. The thing is, the higher it's because with mage builds, you kind of got to uh, level pretty aggressively. The problem with that is that you also need to. Um, oh, that was a wasted bloodlust. You also need to level up Razor and uh, the Crystal Maiden, who are both tier one units. And if you push past level five, then you're really putting yourself in a situation where realistically you're not going to get them to three stars. It's very unlikely. And to explain blacklisting, because I, I get this question all the time. So anytime you pay two gold to re-roll the shop, you are guaranteed to not get the units that are in that initial shop. You are guaranteed units that are not these ones in the next one. And if I re-roll again, these units can come back. And when I said, well, this discourages me because I'm only going to get four Nyx, Life Stealer, and Snapfire. Because there's two Drow Rangers, if I pay, I'm only blacklisting Drow Ranger once. So... Ideally, I want a fifth unit there that I don't want, so when I blacklist, I'm getting the opportunity to get uh, completely new units. I'm looking for Arcane Boots here. I'm going to take the Targeting Buddy instead. Okay. Earth Spirit. Now, we could move towards a Spirit build here, and I think we're going to do this. I'd rather have Earth Spirit than... Let's do this.
Okay. We still have our three mages. Three mage bonus. He's gonna help silence. He's a little tankier than the uh, the Ogre Magi as well. He's got more health and he's got more armor, which is very significant. Magi has uh, has five armor, whereas our Ur Spirit has ten. Nyx Assassin in trouble here. Come on, Nyx. Stop hurting us, Nyx Assassin. Are you gonna get the win? Unbelievable, Nyx Assassin with the unbelievable carry. Damn it. I should never have doubted you, Mr. Nyx Assassin, with your vanguard. What a fool I am. Take our free reroll here. Yes, thank you. Omni Knight's interesting as well. Could definitely consider going Omni Knight. We're going to take these two once I lock into my interest. Interest is locked in. I'm actually going to hold on to Omni Knight for the time being. Just for a second here. While I consider my options. I didn't plan on going Spirits. We can go Spirits though. Okay, I'm not going. I don't want Omni Knight. He would complete the Human Alliance and give us some extra mana there, but realistically, we need the Keeper of the Light to do that. That's really what we want. He's pretty tanky, though. I might actually do this. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yes. Thank you. No, thank you! Um, stay here. Yep, that's, that's where we stay. We stay with this lineup. Yep. Okay. Good. Let's see what we do here. I'm a sad clown. All right, we got assassins. Assassins in this game, you don't often see assassins. They're gonna do some damage to us. Assassins, they counter mages very directly. But uh, knights are a little more problematic here. It looks like this guy got deleted. Not quite what I expected. I expected him to do a little more damage than that. Most certainly. Um, of targeting buddy we're staying centric here now you might be wondering alex why aren't you cornering well we're not cornering because we have a targeting buddy and a razor and razors cast right now especially since it's at two stars it's kind of our primary uh, damage carry as you can see so the result of that is we want to be centralized because he casts in like a radius so uh we're running the omni knight right now simply because we want the human bonus for that uh, mana generation plus he's pretty tanky 1100 health with uh 10 armor it's less it's 100 and, uh, and so less than the earth spirit but earth spirit still one star so I'm considering the human bonus being worth more than the health of Earth Spirit. This guy has a lot of value on the board here. I'd be surprised if we win. It all depends on who she locks down. Oh, oh. Very unfortunate. It looks like Bloodseeker is going to take us down. Yep. Mr. Bloodseeker took us down. It would have been nice to take down that Drow Ranger, but... Not really a probability there. Uh, we'll take the level here next round. Now we put in him. So we're going to do this. Arcane Boots is the snap pick here. No. Hmm. All right. Let's see this. The idea is I want them around the Arcane Boots. He should come around and everyone should benefit from the Arcane Boots. Let's see. Except her mana generation is going to be a little low. There's the Arcane Boots cast I was talking about. It didn't benefit us too much there. But still. Come on, Razor. One more cast. It'd be huge. One more cast, Razor. Oh, yes. Was that a three-star Nature's Prophet? Wow, this guy and two star Magnus. Okay, RNG's high fiving him with a smile on the face. We don't want anybody here. Decisions, decisions. I've always regretted picking you, Mr. Hobgen, but this is your moment. We're going mages. I did pick you, clown. There's Ember. That's something. Now, oh, yes. Oh, Sven. Sven. Yes, we take Sven. Do we actually take Sven over 
No, well, let's do let's do this. Yeah, let's do this to start. Let's see if we can get some uh, get some luck there. Get some spirit action. Thank you for your service on me, Knight. I do appreciate it. No Delta Slam for us. That makes me sad. Can we at least get Friendly Fire Hobgen? I think this is the first time I've run Friendly Fire Hobgen since he got buffed. Okay. At least he got his casts off. That's an improvement. Good job, Hobgen. You actually cast Friendly Fire. That little two second reduction made a big difference. No Delta Slam though, unfortunately. Um, do I... Do I do this? No. Okay. You want to light something on fire? You need to settle down, friend. You can't just light fires everywhere we go. Okay, we take more flames. Now, I don't know if these spirits are worth it. Now, I don't know if they're worth it. Let's see. Ember's gonna die pretty fast. Ember cast, light a fist, fool. There it is. Come on. Delta slam, yes. Look at that. Centralized there. Good job, and we, uh... Oh, oh, he finally got his uh, his cast off there, but it wasn't fast enough. He's going to heal himself up pretty good, though. Look at this angry warlock with his arcane boots. He's angry, but it's not going to be enough because we're still going to win. But Mr. Warlock, I can see I can see your fury, and I appreciated that. Uh, might actually do... I was going to say, we could run some higher value unit. I'm going to do this, actually. Not sold on the positioning here. You know what? Let's chase. Alright. I was gonna say, let's chase. I'm not gonna level up this right now because I think I might roll here searching for uh I was gonna say for maiden and razor. Come on, fools. Oh, you gotta be he's the only one that takes no damage. No! Hobgin! No Delta Slam either. These guys would have gotten melted from a Delta Slam. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, and he missed Razor. No way. That was so awful. That was like the worst I've had. Like, that was so bad. Guys, what are you doing? Are you out of your minds? Out of your damn minds. Oh, that was so painful to watch. And this RNG. No. Red Hood. Getting the dubs. Hitting us hard. It's a good build. It's a good build. Show me these items. Yule Scepter. Interesting. Let's roll. Hey. There you go. You get blade mail. Um, hey, look. A maiden. Thanks. Great. Crystal maiden. Fantastic. I'm so glad you're here. Um... We're doing this. Forget this garbage. This is All right. Do I just straight up sell off the spirits or what? Am I going six mages here? Wow. This fight's also going very poorly. Come on, Hobgen. Get friendly fire off. No, you're stunned. There it is. At least take someone down just so we take less damage. Yes! Yes! Thank you. Thank you, Hobgen. We don't really have much better options here. This Sven's not going to do it for us. I picked up Omni Knight again. I don't want Omni Knight. Hey, okay. I'd rather have Disruptor in. You're gone, Sven. Thank you, though. Might even do this. At this point, I don't want to completely peel off spirits because we have them paired up here. So if we re-roll a bit, which we should have. Bad move on my part. I got 44 gold. I got double spirits on the bench here. I'm losing rounds. That power spike of those spirits would have been very beneficial. So... A very poor decision on my part there. Come on, one more ball lightning. Oh! I don't actually, actually, I want to lose this one. Thank you. I want the free reroll. 
Hey, come on. Give me the one spirit I don't need right now. That's fine, I guess. Now, the problem with mage is you don't want to be too aggressive with your rerolling because you really need to level. Like, I need to pull Keeper of the Light here. Okay, Ember. Another Ember. Cool. So we put in that. Now we actually do this again. Ah, he's out. Damn it. Okay. Let's see if Ember casts within a reasonable time frame here. He doesn't have any items to amplify his damage potential, which is unfortunate. Oh, he's going to get a really early cast there, actually. Oh! Pretty decent Delta Slam. That was actually pretty damn good. Uh, oh. Legion. Look at this. Three-star Magnus. Look at these druids crushing us here. Oh, no, bear. Get out of here, bear. Come on. Oh, this Magnus, he's angry. He's so angry. No! Three damage. It's alright. It's alright. Now, I can't even re-roll here because I'm only going to blacklist three units. What a waste of my money. Come on, game. Throw me a bone. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we take Disruptor out. Keep her in. No. Alright, we never level, level next round. The Brawny build! He's gonna come to the center here. Come on. Get that Delta Slam off. There it is. Not the best, but not the worst. So Hobgen's dead. Very unfortunate. And the stuns by Eno completely destroyed us. Oh! All that damage would have been nullified if Hobgen would have survived. Now, this is what we do here. I think we got a corner. Now, do we have any pudges? I think there is a pudge. There's two pudges. So we can't do that. Mango tree, interesting. But not right now. We'll hold on to Dagon. We'll take Dagon, it's just... None of those were great items, honestly. But we'll take Dagon, I guess. Okay. See how we do here. I'm not a huge fan of my positioning there. Also, we could... I'm thinking we get rid of these spirits. I don't like it. They're not doing much. If we can keep Hobgen alive, we can get to our six mages. After a pretty good Delta Slam, so what am I talking about? There's there's the uh, friendly fire there. Oh, come on. Hit over there. We're going to get the win here. It's a good win. I was nervous, but it's a good win. I might actually go right to, uh, to mages here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you for your contribution, friends. But your time has come to an end. Reposition here. Another me. Hey, thank you very much. We got a lot of money, too. We have a heck of a lot of money here. Let's take the level. Time to have a little fun. Why not? Shadow Fiend? Nah. Shadow Fiend would have been better than any of these guys. Alright, here we go. We'll take Magi as well again. Level 8, here we are. Six mages, friends. Nice double cast. Come on, Hobgen. It's on you. It's all you, Hobgen. You should be leading us in damage by the by the end of these fights here. How do you like that, friend? Hobgen did not lead us in damage, but our friend Razor did. Now, if uh, if Keeper's two star, I give him the K. But right now, I'm comfortable giving it to, to the uh, the Razor. Razor's doing good work. Might actually do this. 
He's he's running. He's doing a long lap here, eh? But it's okay. Tide Hunter, yes. Double Maiden, he can't even move. Her attack range is a lot further. He's gonna do this. The winds of change are blowing. Maiden should have probably been in the corner because Pudge, if there is a Pudge, is gonna pull Maiden, which isn't that much of a loss compared to him pulling someone like Keeper the Light. Get a good cast here, Keeper. Okay, decent. No. Disruptor, how dare you, Disruptor? Come on, Hobgin. That's it, Hobgin. Is that a mechanism? It's a mech. Oh! Not enough damage! Oh, Maiden! You almost did it, Maiden! You almost did it! Maiden, so close! So close! Six mages doing work here, guys. Six mages doing work. Just thinking about my positioning here. You might be thinking, Alex, that's a pretty aggressive spot for uh, for Hobgen there, but I want him right behind our targeting buddy, who also has the uh, the blade mail, of course. One roll, come on, Tide Hunter! Damn you, game! Damn you, game! What's this guy got? Yeah, it's a good build. He's got that brawny thing going, and he's doing a good job. Red Hood beat us up pretty bad last time. Positioning on the targeting buddy, not great. Targeting buddy's literally doing nothing. There's the pudge pull. Are there multiple pudges? What happened? Did he pull keeper? Damn it. Come on. Oh, Ogre Magi. You're taking my Ogre Magi, but your whole team's pretty much dead. Come on. Come on, Hobgen. Carry us. Yes. Yes. Hobgen leading in damage, guys. Six mages. Hobgen leading in damage. I love it. I love it. Now we gotta take a quick look at positioning here. What do, what are people doing? So left side, right in front, right in front. Okay, so I was wrong to have him in that. This is the right spot. Okay, so I was wrong to have him in that position anyway. Uh, let's do this. No. I think Refresher. It's Refresher because ideally we want Refresher Orb on Tidehunter when he's two stars. Right now he's not two stars, so he does not get the benefit of having a Refresher. In the meantime, we could Refresher Orb Maiden so she can lock down multiple units. That would be interesting. Tidehunter will get focused there. Alright, let's do that. Okay, what do you got for us, RNG? Hey, nothing. Click towards leveling. Now, because we're in a pretty good spot here, and we're doing a good job, I don't want to force, like, really force my leveling. Um, oh, I was thinking of maybe moving him, because we're, we're against a few pudges here. But it's okay. Yeah, there's a pudge. Hopefully, he pulls him. Ah, oh, he's gone. He's going to pull him. Oh, no, he didn't. He pulled Razor. What? I, don't, I don't even know what happened there. I was watching... Oh, Keeper's dead. That's what happened there. Come on. Hobgen cast. Oh, wow. We got deleted. That was really bad. So there was the uh, the dag and took down uh, the. Uh... Whoa, whoa! Did you see that at the end there? Crystal Maiden with uh, with like the uh, the kill at the end there is Chris. I wasn't paying attention here. Was Crystal Maiden? Was it worth having her with? Apparently not. Apparently it was not worth. <laughs> okay, Morphling. Let's give it to Morphling. Carry us, Morphling. Carry us to the promised land, friend. This is your moment. You could... You know what? We could just run Medusa straight up here. Because why wouldn't we, right? Pure greed play here on the Medusa. Another Maiden. Okay. I'll take Maiden again. Uh, not yet, though. We're not going to three-star the Ogre Magi. Plus, hopefully we get a Lich. So, she's gonna die pretty fast, but hopefully she gets her, uh, stone gaze off. Get stone gaze off, fool! Don't die! Stone gazed! Now you can die. And you did! At least our targeting buddy did some work there. Come on, Hobgen. Hit him! Hit him, Hobgen! Yes! 
Yes, Hobgen. Now imagine how good we'd be doing if we had a two-star Tidehunter. Again, I wasn't paying attention to the Morphling. Did he actually do anything with that orb or what? Well, Waveform's doing work. Okay, fine. All right, fine. Now we could level here. It'd be a great time. 15 gold, uh, sorry, 15 experience. So a very natural level transition here. Take a Morphling. But we're doing well, but I think we should force our advantage a little bit. Do I invest 20 to level? Put in the other Morphling. No. Yes. Things are heating up. All right, Morphling, let's see it. That's yep, that's my army. Now, oh, we're against this guy. And it's a ghost. Three-star bristle, I'm scared. Uh oh, Disruptor, that's gonna cause a problem for us. Hobgoblin's gonna die early? Oh, we're gonna get crushed here. Oh no. We're taking so much damage here, guys. This was a really sad, sad moment for our team. Very sad moment. Now that we're at level 9, we need a better... We need someone better here. Okay, hold on. Medusa, I don't think you're the right unit. You're not for us, Medusa. Hey, Get out of here, Medusa. The moment has come for Mr. Tide Hunter. You know what? I might do this. I might bait them with the maiden here. Let's see. We can die better this one. All right. We can knock this guy right here. Crystal maiden's getting jumped. And we're getting silenced. No, he didn't get a second stun off. Okay, at least we got uh, the Hobgen blast off there. Come on, take down some of these guys. Oh, Jug, look at this. Eight damage. No. It's close. It's close. Is everyone still positioned slanted more or less left? This guy's here. Let's see, let's see. Yep, Robin Hood. So I think we actually got to move this over. Shiva's guard, yes. Yes, Shiva's guard. Shiva's here. Who's getting armor? Who wants armor? More than you get armor. There you go. Oh, come on! Come on, game. Help me. Help me, damn it. Can't. I can't. It's got to stay there. It's got to stay there. All right. Let's see how we do here. Come on, Razor. Let's get that three-star Razor. Shiva's is pretty solid there. Come on. Double stuns. Hobgun! No! Twenty damage. No. I'm so sad. Twenty damage. So he's gone. We're in the points at the very least. But oh man, has this game been close? This guy won two. All right, let's let's set up here. Right position. He's out. Robin Hood. Ah, not great. We're fine. All right, I think we move over one. Okay. We roll hard here. Okay, that's something. We're not going to three-star Tide. Come on. Lich, nothing? No one good? No! The UI just locked me out. That's a very useless Ar Ar Arcane Boots there. Come on. Come on. The key thing is, oh, the Disruptor cast. We need Hobgen to cast. Hobgen cast. There it is. It's not going to be enough, though. I think we're eliminated. It's going to be so close. It's so close. We're going to get it. Oh, wow. Did we knock this guy out or what? It's so close. He's knocked out. Boom shakalaka. We hit him for just enough. Wow. That was tight. 
That was incredibly tight. Let's fix this disaster up here. The UI lag in this game? Oh man, does it drive me insane. So much of it too. Okay, Robin, where are you at? This guy's here as well. I think we got a position like this. Okay. Well, that's sad. All right, come on. Come on, let's go, guys. Get the dub here. Hold on. Oh, no, Hobgen cast. Hobgen, no. And we're eliminated. It's a third place finish for us. But you know what? That was a lot of fun. It was a fun game. Wow. We fought for that one, didn't we? A third place finish, but we earned it. We earned that third place with our six mages. RNG wasn't favorable us with us in the end there, but still a very good match. Thank you so much for watching. A very special thank you to all my wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day.